It's me, it's Barbara, and once again, with another video, and tonight, I'm looking so fabulous <clears throat> tonight. As you can see, I'm what I have on, and basically, I got my wedding ring and my engagement ring on. And I'm asking for all you ladies out there. Have your had had your man ever dumped you for an old woman? Think about it. I mean, for once, what what most women would do, they would go like to a fancy restaurant and wear a glass of champagne. And what they would do, they would take their wind ring, well, their engagement ring off and put in a glass of champagne. Meaning that their relationship with their man is over. Um, however, enough of that. Going back, going back, oh, years ago. To the cross-dressing capital of the world. New York City in the 1970s. Oh, New York City. Let me tell you, girlfriends. New York City was, was something else with uh, the World Trade Center and the Empire State Building. But there was only a, one other place that many of the trendiest people went. Studio 54. Oh, yeah. Yeah, cross-dressers. Yeah, transgender people. Yeah, homosexuals hanging out there, and with uh, the likes of Liza Minnelli, uh, Mick Jagger, Michael Jackson, and the list kept on growing. But hey, back in the, back in the heyday, have you ever visited Studio Fifty Four in New York City? Well, I need to know that. Just place in my comment section down below, and <clears throat> like always, like, comment, subscribe. This is Barbara Ann, signing off for now. Till next time. Bye now.